While referring to the sun and the moon in the Quran, it is emphasized that each moves in a certain orbit. It is he who created the night and the day, and the sun and the moon. They swim along, each in an orbit. It is mentioned in another verse too, that the sun is not static, but moves in a certain orbit. And the sun runs to its resting place. That is the decree of the Almighty, the All-Knowing. These facts communicated in the Quran have been discovered by astronomical observations in our age. According to the calculations of experts on astronomy, the sun is traveling at the enormous speed of 720,000 kilometers an hour in the direction of the star Vega in a particular orbit called the solar apex. This means that the sun travels roughly 17,280,000 kilometers a day. Along with the sun, all planets and satellites within the gravitational system of the sun also travel the same distance. In addition, all the stars in the universe are in a similar planned motion. That the entire universe is full of paths and orbits such as this one is inscribed in the Quran as follows. By the sky full of paths and orbits. There are about 200 billion galaxies in the universe consisting of nearly 200 billion stars in each. Most of these stars have planets, and most of those planets have satellites. All of these heavenly bodies move in very precisely computed orbits. For millions of years, each has been swimming along in its own orbit in perfect harmony and order with all the others. Moreover, many comets also move along in the orbits determined for them. The orbits in the universe do not only belong to celestial bodies, the galaxies also travel at enormous speeds in computed, planned orbits. During these movements, none of these celestial bodies cut across another's path or collide with another. Indeed, it has been observed that some galaxies pass through each other with none of their components touching each other. Surely, at the time the Quran was revealed, Humankind did not possess today's telescopes or advanced observation technologies to observe space in a range of millions of kilometers, nor the modern knowledge of physics or astronomy. Therefore, at that time, it was not possible to determine scientifically that space is full of paths and orbits, as stated in the verse. However, this was openly declared to us in the Quran that was revealed at that time because the Qur'an is the word of God.